All right, guys, we got some pretty major news today. We got some good news about the Miku mod and how it could actually come to Funky Friday pretty soon. So make sure you guys smack that like so more people know about the good news. Don't forget to subscribe, use star code attack, and let's dive right into it. So I actually found out about this over at GGTV's channel, so make sure you guys go check him out. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have no idea about this. But first, we do have to explain why the Miku mod hasn't been added to Funky Friday yet, for those of you who didn't know. So the ultimate the ultimate reason why the mod was not added into Funky Friday was due to copyright reasons. Miku isn't actually an original character. The character actually originates from a Vocaloid software that is owned by Krypton Future Media. They've been utilizing this character for years now and they also have it as their mascot as well. And as for the songs, the old songs are actually not original as well. These songs are copyrighted from some Japanese music companies such as Exit Tunes for example and also Maritu. Fun fact actually for those of you who didn't know, Funky Friday was planning on adding the Miku mod all the way back on March 18th. But then they found out that the Miku mod had some copyrighted songs and then they had to delay the update in favor for the the Taho update, which was the first one they did. So it's why we see the Miku sign on the back of the welcome board sign in the game. It's because they were actually going to make that thumbnail for that update, but due to the delay, so they made it into a little secret, in which we could probably see the mod come into the game, ironically enough. So you guys are all caught up to speed about why it didn't get added. Let's talk about the good news. Let's talk about how it could actually come into the game. So the mod, as of 18 hours ago, just received its biggest update. It was a very spontaneous update update as well the first update for the mod in over six months so a pretty surprise update indeed but the mod has received three new original songs as well as six bonus songs too now for most mod updates you know more songs is pretty cool there's nothing very special about them well they can be but you know what i mean but in this case it's gonna be super special especially because for the miku mod update here there are gonna be three original songs not copyrighted songs completely original and remastered songs here which ultimately solves the number one issue that funky friday had ab about the miku mod in which they had to deal with copyrighted songs now they don't have to deal with that anymore they have three original songs to work with here so funky friday could actually now have the chance to bring the miku mod into the game without fear of copyrights without fear of dealing with krypton or anything like that and if they actually do you add this mod into the game it's going to create a lot of hype especially due to the fact that the Miku mod has some pretty crazy statistics. It has over 2.6 million visits and over 1 million downloads as well, making it one of the most popular mods out there in the FNF community. And the best part is, they already know some of the people who have worked on the mod. If you look at the credits here, we can see one name that stands out over, over the rest of them. Honestly, all Funky Friday has to do is just contact Paper <coughs> Kitty, ask for permission, maybe even ask like the head honcho for the mod as well, and they could actually bring this mod into the game pretty easily. Heck, even I could message Paper Kitty, honestly, because I am friends with them, but you generally want to let Funky Friday and the developers deal with this, so that way it's more professional. Now, what can we expect from this update coming into the game here? We can expect quite a bit of things, actually. First of which, I would definitely expect the three original songs from the mod to come into the game. The new ones are not copyrighted. And actually, as a little treat for you guys, we're gonna be trying out the three original songs real quick on this video, so let's go check them out. There right, you go, boys. Miku mod time. Let's check out those new songs. It's gonna be lit. Look at the menu, though. The menu looks pretty insane. I'm not gonna lie, dude. All right, so this is gonna be one of the first original songs from the Miku mod that they added in the new update. It's called Lloyd. Oh my god. I wasn't even ready for those notes right there, man. Oh my gosh, dude. I like the theme of it, wow! It's very upbeat and it's very, you know, it's one of those songs that just brightens up your mood, dude. It's honestly pretty fun to play, I'm not gonna lie, dude. It might be an easy song because it is a first original song from the storyline, from a story mode. But honestly, it's a really fun charting to play, dude. And also the instrumentals in the background, too. Very, very great, I like that. I can't wait to see this one come to Funky Friday, for sure. Alright, here we go, boys. The second original song is going to be Endurance right here. A lot faster! Look at this! Oh my gosh, dude! That is actually wicked fast right there, dude! I might even hit these notes, dude. That was actually pretty crazy right there, dude. It's gonna be a pretty difficult song, especially for Funky Friday, man. Oh my gosh, look at this. Oh man, dude! It's probably like an arrow speed of what? Probably an arrow speed of like... 
like three at least or something like that. That's crazy, man. Oh, wait, what? The crowd went all the way there because I missed? That's crazy. Dude, this sounds gonna be great for Funky Friday as well. I can't wait for that. And now we do have a Volca as well. This is the last from the original songs too. The stage is all blacked out in this one. You got like some, you know, some light glow stick action in here. Here we go. Another really fast song once again. But it sounds really great. I like the vibe that this song's given out, dude. Kind of gives you like some, I'm not sure, it's like some future funk remix vibes out of it, you know what I mean? Wow! I like it, I like it a lot. It's actually really fun to play. It's really nice to see fast songs like this. Especially if they add this to the Funky Friday. So it's gonna be a really great difficult song for everybody to enjoy out there for like all difficulties I feel like. But yeah, overall, this song, really fun to play, insane too, like there's some pretty crazy parts in there, I love it. So yeah, we can actually see those three songs coming to Funky Friday, like that's gonna be pretty fun, they're gonna be nice and balanced as well, and they're also gonna be some pretty difficult parts in the charting too. We can also see some other stuff come into the game as well, such as a cool cyber stage that's going on in the background too, though it would be really cool if Funky Friday was able to find a way to animate the crowd like it does on the mod, you know, the crowd kind of moves along with the song and stuff like that. If Funky Friday could do that, that would be pretty insane. We could possibly see a new emo being added in as well. We could have the girlfriend holding the glow stick. Though in the mod, the girlfriend doesn't really move with the glow stick at all. So in Funky Friday, we could have like the Roblox avatar, like, you know, moving that glow stick side to side to the beat of the song too. That would be pretty nice. And I could probably see that emo going for around 400 to maybe 500 points too. And lastly, we do have new animations that could come from this mod as well. The most obvious one being the Miku animation, in which actually it's not a very complex animation to add into Funky Friday. So we could possibly see this as a cheap animation, somewhere around 400 to 600 points, which would be pretty nice. But going forward, I could see the Miku mod coming to Funky Friday with other mods as well, maybe small mods maybe even a bigger mod too imagine if the Miku mod came out with the soft wow. mod at the same time as a combined update because they did kind of confirm that the soft mod is going to be coming into funky friday on twitter so as of now that would make the most amount of sense for me personally especially since they already know which mods they want to add in so far but what do you guys think about this are you guys excited that Miku might actually come to funky friday pretty soon let me know about it in the comments down below. Let's hear your thoughts about it. Don't forget to smack the like so more people know about the good news, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. You start code attack, and we'll see you guys on the next one.